My father was a baseball player. And he was a good baseball player. He played till he was 36 years old. Mm -hmm. And what happened, he was a shot star. But he wasn't very tall, I have to admit. But that's not where he got it. They used to go call him, hey, shoddy. I worked with my father for 19 years as a barber. And that's, I went to barbering school in Worcester, bronze. And I finished that, and then my father was a barber. And I ended up working with him, what, I say 19 years? Yeah. I think I enjoy it better, no offense to any females or anything, but I, I really don't like all the chemicals and stuff like that. And my father was a barber, and I just enjoyed being a barber. Get him a chair, Sean. I'm going to photograph you. What are you doing pictures of? Of your beautiful face. Well. <laughs> Sean is a customer of mine since. See this box? You see this damn box? I'll show you acting. This was Sean on the box. We used to put that in Sean and you would sit there. Whether it's raining out, it ain't that bad. And when a customer sits in the chair, rotten day. Yeah. Yo, right, right, right. I said, well, it ain't that bad. That annoys me. I don't mind anybody showing up at 5 o'clock, but when they know it, when they, he knew it, comes walking in and goes, he brings a buddy with him and he goes, uh, I said, Sean, uh, TK, you know it's 5 o'clock, don't you? And he said, did I know it? He says to his friend, his friend yeah, you knew it. You said, watch her get mad. <laughs> there, and the guy gets a ding ling ling and he turns around and, he's, and you've gotten this side. And he says, excuse me, I'll put it on this side. Then they say, why don't you sit down while I talk on the phone? Hello, when you're a barber, when you're pumped, ready to go, like any job, you're going to sit down? I don't think so. Cigarette smoke, that gets them all mad. They, you know, at my age, they give me the history of smoking, and I go, I know, mister, I know, back off. Cigarette smoke, yeah, that pisses a lot of people off, right? I like the time the judge came in here. That was a good one. I was young, foolish, didn't know better, and he says, do you know who I am? And of course, my attitude was like, no, sir, I don't. And he had this curly, kinky hair. And I said to him, I said, no, I don't know who you are. He said his name. You don't know who I am? I said, no, I don't know who you are. Like, what's the big deal, you know? <laughs> you see a lot of people, right? Uh -huh. He right. turned around and said, I am the judge of Fitchburg. I said, that's good. I don't need you. What kind of heck that you want? <laughs> You don't have to get up for him, no, I'm okay. I'm glad you dressed up for films today. You could be a big movie star after this, Sonny. I'm sorry. You know what? This is my cash register. We used to have one, but if you don't have a cash register, you don't get rid of it. You pocket it today. A lot of it goes with my dad. He says, you know, girl, you gotta start throwing people out. And I said, Dad, I don't know how to throw out people. And he said, well, you're going to have to learn. So that week, I threw out three guys. Ha <laughs> ha! So can I ask you why you threw them out? Well, it's cutting the guys here. And he told me to fix his beep beep pot. And I said, geez, oh, man, that's not... I'll fix this pot, all right. After I was done, I told him not to come back. Oh, don't tell me I owe taxes, please. You owe taxes. Well, uh, I always owe... Really, I now there's my grouchy customer right there. There's the grouch. You have a bad day today, Jack? No, that's that's another thing. I'm talking to you, and that's bad. <laughs> I shouldn't talk at all to you. See? That started one day when I had three little boys coming in, and they were like, well, this height, and that height, and that height. And I had a hard time figuring out their names. And they kind of wanted you to remember each one of them. And they were like the oldest was, I say one was four, seven, and nine. And the height was funny. So I said, why don't we just mock your height and then put your name, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll remember. So when they came in, I look at the little one, look at the board, and go, oh, hi, Mike. And they had Mark, Mike, and Matt. I think it was all them. And then I go up. Then one kid said, wouldn't it be cool that we write down how long we've been coming here? About a 16-year-old boy, and I said, do it. Nice part about the job, a lot of places you go, they don't get personal, you know, and things like that. I think you should get to know people. All I need is a chair, a clipper, a pair of scissors, and a good conversation with a customer, and I'm happy. You know.